Hello and welcome back. So at least we have a slider, we have a working search bar and uh, a half the navigation is working. So let's look at the posts now. If we go back to Bootstrap, since we are using Bootstrap, um, look for components, card, and I want this very first card right here. So I'm just going to copy that content from here. And um, what I do, what I do. So right here in template parts, I want to create a new file, always, and paste this. So save this as um, uh, post um, .php. So this is just like a single post. Mm -hmm. And then uh, what I want to do is go to the home page that's uh, index.php. Hmm. So before the loop here, I want to add just a uh, a div, something like a wrapper div, just in case we... Um... Okay, so here I'm opening, closing these tags all over the place. So let me just do this instead, just to keep it consistent, keep it 100. Let me remove this move that there so I can close it from here and reopen it there and then here I just want that div tag like so and uh, after this another closing div tag that way I can do uh, some extra stuff over here okay cool so I have my div there, and instead of having this here, okay, uh, I'm going to just include a uh, template. So I'll say get template part, and we just want to add the post here. So I'm just going to say post like that. Okay, so cool. If we come back here and refresh, this is what we get. We get uh, some cards here. Very nice. So because we have three posts, we get three cards. But they're not looking so sharp now, are they? So in the div, let's put a class here. First of all, I want to add some padding. So I'll use P4, uh, which comes with Bootstrap. So refresh. There we go. At least we have some padding. And then I want some margin between these guys. So I will go into the post.php, right on the card here, the, the main div, I'll say M4, just for margin instead of padding. Okay, uh, that's cool. Now, the thing is, I want them to appear a uh, line one next to the other. So this div, the main div that wraps them around, I'll use a... Um, a class of card group like so refresh yeah and once I do that it does this but these are being stretched so I want to use very specific numbers so I'll go back to poster PHP on the width here instead of 18 rem I'll use 280 pixels and I'll tell it that this is the max width Okay, and also I don't want it to go lower than that, so I'll use mean width as well. You can just uh, use width if you want. Okay, so that's much better. And also let me add some shadows so I can see them properly, shadow and a border. And then if I go back to, uh, where is this, the index page, I want to justify the content on the center, so I'll say justify content center like that so let's see if that works okay so we are in the center we have a shadow uh things are looking good but we don't have an image here at all so before we deal with images let's add um the proper content so instead of a uh, this title here let me put php tags and say the title the title and then uh, copy this here we'll put the except as we had planned before so let's say the 
excerpt and then here instead of go somewhere it should be read let's do read more and then the href here obviously we will add the permalink like that okay so uh, that should do just fine refresh and there we go so looking sharp but this is still too much information for me so what i'll do is in the except i will echo it out so instead of just saying the except i'll say get the except so that i can send it to a variable but also instead of sending it to a variable once i use the get like this it doesn't echo it so it will disappear but what i want to do is i want to send it to a substring uh, function like so this function comes with uh, php it's not part of uh, WordPress. So I'll tell it where to start and that's on number zero, the first character, and only get me 50 characters like this. And then I need to echo this, so I'll change this to an equal sign like that to echo it and refresh. Okay, that's much better. Then I can put some dot 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 just to show that there is more to be read. Okay, cool. And if I click on read more, I see only one of these. Very nice. So as you can see, even on the read more, it's still using the index page to read just that single post. So we're going to see how to handle that a little bit better. So read that. Now the only thing remaining is the image. So as you as you've seen here, uh, we can go to this pixum and let me get me a different uh, resolution. This time I want 280. Uh, by 180 okay enter oh I should have copied it my bad anyway it doesn't matter because I'm not doing any more I already have the ones I need so if I now go to the same folder where I got the file I can copy that file yeah, copy it Actually, let me copy this one that says card image. So I'm, I've named it card image and added it to my images. Card hyphen image. So what I will do is go to the slider to copy how I did this to get an image. Copy that. Come back to post and right here. I will add that as well. Now instead of that, it will be card image dot jpeg okay so since it's the correct resolution i don't have to worry and refresh there we go okay so i have the image i need i have the content i need except that uh, the image is not dynamic you see here it's the same image everywhere and this is not ideal so um let's see though if the search still works and it does okay so in the next video, let's look at how to deal with uh, images and thumbnails and the like. I'll see you then.